Hi, so I'm going to go through Chatbase and why we use it at Coursebox, for example, and how you might be able to use it in your business. So what's really cool with Chatbase is it's a chatbot that you can customize. You can customize the avatar, the name, the questions that your chatbot asks, and you can train that on all of your content, and you can use it for a huge range of different ways. For example, you could use it as a kind of 24 seven marketing chatbot. And, and we kind of do that because it's trained on our pricing plans as well as how do you use our product? And you can ask our, our chat base, we call him Bob uh, 24 seven, just questions like, uh, you know, it could be as facile as what is your name? Or it could be, uh, what are, how do I upgrade from the free plan to the paid plan and why? What are the advantages? Can you compare the free and the paid plans and that sort of stuff? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you some examples of using Chatbase. And it's it's pretty simple actually to share your chatbot on your website or anywhere really. You can either share that as a link or as an iframe. And let's find my tab. Here we go. So there's a free plan, but uh, it's more powerful on the paid plans of Chatbase, and it's chatbase.co. So here's my chatbots. You see I've got four. I've got a bit of a playful, fun one, which is called Travbot, and that's all about sort of me and my services on our, on our e-commerce website. And what I've done with Travbot is it's trained. It's like a virtual version of me, <laughs> which is a bit of, bit of fun, a bit of playfulness. You can jump on there. You can say, you know, what do clients say about your work? So you can ask about uh, my LinkedIn history. I've trained it on my LinkedIn history by downloading that as a kind of PDF CSV. But also I've uploaded and pre-trained this chatbot on all of our client use case studies uh, and our services. So you can have little uh, pop up here, but using an iframe on your website. And I can show you that iframe code and how to get it. Or you can actually just send out a link to, to people in emails and so on. Uh, you can have these quick questions that people just click the most frequently asked questions and you'll get unique answers and insights. Or you can actually just you know free chat in here. So who is Travis? There we go. And because it's been pre-trained on LinkedIn, it knows quite a lot about me, but also it's pre-trained on our website. <clears throat> and it can be used in yeah, a range of ways uh, for marketing, for upgrades, uh, or for learning a bit more about your services. Here's another example. So on coursebox.ai, we've created an avatar called Bob. That's our chatbot there. We've pre-trained that on our entire eight year history of our user manual. So you can ask it anything about, you know, for example, how do you create certificates? Let's jump into, I think we've got a question there. Or I'm just free text. How can I create a certificate? And what's really cool is you can write in any language uh, and Bob will understand that and write back in, in your chosen language. So how do we create these? Well, we go to chatbase.co and uh, register. As I say, there's a free plan, but you can upgrade. And I'm going to jump into Bob, the course box support bot and show you how I trained that. So you can see a preview of my bot here and I've, I've got some quick little questions. I've given him an avatar, a bit of a descriptor of what it is. There's a couple of uh, quick tips at the top, but you don't have to have those and you can customize all that in your settings. <clears throat> so in settings, uh, you can select which language model and I've set mine to uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo, but if you upgrade even further, you can get GPT 4. You can customize your chat interface. You know, what's the initial message? and some suggested quick questions. What sort of theme are you choosing? What's the profile picture or is there not one at all? What are your colors? And uh, there's other options regarding security. You can sort of track leads. And what's really good about this is you can go into your chat history. So if you've got a thousand chats over a month where people have been interacting 24 seven with your chatbot, you can get a, glean a lot more information, get some really good insights. And there's some other items in there I won't go into now. And this is how you do it. You click on dashboard and I can see in this case, you're the last 
sort of months or seven days uh and wow it, you can actually go by source i didn't see that's a new filter and i can export that as a csv or pdf download that or i can just click through here and review and what's really useful is when people leave an email address if they choose to and that's that's a setting you can opt analytics we can look at which countries and this is this is upgrading all the time so this is actually new and i hadn't seen this before but that's actually really interesting data there and sources so when you're first building your chatbot what you do is you upload your files and they've got pdf word docs or text files sometimes a little bit fiddly i found like if you've got a lot of embedded tables in a pdf the uh it's probably using davinci or the training algorithm might have trouble reading those tables so you might want to change them to bullet lists but in general uh, it's pretty good text files seem to work probably the best but any of these file types pretty good so i've trained it on our user guide uh, for uh, lti and how to use that and our full user manual as well but you can also just jump in here and write in text you can train it on web links so we've done that because it's got some uh, some of our legal links in there and that was an easier way to do it than uploading documents q a now q a is interesting because you can you can set up some initial questions and answers and that really drills into specifics because you you don't want your chatbot sort of going off off story off brand and that's useful but also you'll see this actually grows over time and why is that because sometimes the chatbot isn't perfect and so when you're reviewing your answers you can actually click on revise answer and give the answer that's actually more accurate and when you do that in your sources that's going to update your q a we haven't used integrations but it's good to know it's there embed on site this is where you can copy the iframe either just to embed it uh, in an area of your page or if you want that pop-up widget i was showing you then you you copy the script below and that creates your chat if you want to share it as a link i've often clicked copy but i found that doesn't actually work because it only works if you're logged in to chat base so you click visit and this is the actual link that you would need to copy. And if I go incognito, you'll see that that link works. So that's just a bit of a tip. And well, that's really it. You know, you can delete it, you can manage your account. But I hope this has been useful. And you can always jump on coursebox.ai to interact and play around with what Bob might say. And we've actually found him to be a bit of a personality and uh, you know sometimes we're like you, you might ask well, what about the pro plan and you'll say ah the, the wonderful and delightful pro plan i'm so glad you asked so that was a bit unexpected but a bit delightful as well <laughs> i'll stop sharing now thanks very much for listening